Hey, Frank Paris here, magician, engineer. Mostly I build uh, magic tricks and uh, illusions and electronic props for magicians. But a few years ago, like eight or 10 years ago, I decided to mow my own lawn and shovel my own snow with a remote control snow plow and a remote control lawnmower. So I had to come up with uh, the electronics components and the bracket to use okay because I took an off-the-shelf mower a push mower okay and I built the bracket for it I'm not gonna go into the bracket so much as I'm gonna go into the electronic wiring uh, the brackets are already up there for sale uh, from me you can buy it and uh, it'll come wired exactly the way you see it now and there is an option for motors. There's also an option for uh, hobby remote control transmitter and receiver wiring and all of that stuff. Okay, uh, but basically the way the unit comes, comes with just the bracket and the electronics, okay, uh, wiring, okay. It comes with the wiring for the uh, unit, but... We do not include the speed controller. We do not include, include the receiver, hobby receiver, and we do not include the hobby transmitter. All right, so let me just backtrack. The bracket fits on your lawnmower. It's a push mower, and based on the uh, diameter of the back of the mower, okay, the bracket would slip on and you would drill two holes into the frame of the lawnmower and you would attach or affix each side of the bracket to the mower okay so that's how that works and you would put one uh, a bracket screwed and affix to one side of the mower and then the other side of the mower we get the same thing i buy the cheapest push mowers you can uh, they'll last a few years and then after you have um, expended those you can just take the bracket off and reload that bracket onto another a mower, a new fresher mower. And these uh, mowers run about 130, 140 bucks at Home Depot and Lowe's when you buy a push mower, okay? So basically, you're going to get the bracket which holds the batteries. We don't give you the batteries, you'll have to buy the batteries. Each one of these uh, batteries is a 12 amp I'm sorry, 12 volt, 12 amp battery. And they're wired together for 24 volts. Okay, and I'll get into that for a, a second in a few seconds. All right, but what you're going to get is the bracket, all the hardware to install it on your mower. I'll just need to know what the diameter of the back of your mower is. Okay, and I will also need to know what model mower you're going to be getting. All right, so that's basically it. Now, the batteries, I said, go up here. They're going to be wired for 24 volts. So you're going to have, for 24 volts, a minus wire and a plus wire connected together. And then you're going to have a minus wire and a plus coming out of the uh, bracket in the housing, the electronic housing. And that will go for the plus on one side and the minus on the other side. Now, your motor should be, whoops, sorry, lost the focus for a second. Your motor should be M41 inline mowers, uh, 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 motors, M41 Pronto motors. Uh, they are inline, meaning that the gear is in line with the housing for the uh, motor itself. All right, and then I use these steel brackets from... Um, Ace Hardware, there's um, four inch brackets. Let me make sure here. I think they're four inch brackets. Okay, and the M41 mowers, the M41 motors will fit into this bracket and they will stick out and you will get the Pronto M41 wheels along with the key to put the, the wheels on, the 10 inch wheels. And you're going to remove, you're going to remove the back wheels on your mower. Try to get a push mower that has the same size front wheels as the ones in the back. Okay, that's what you want. 
all right? And you do not want uh, a self-propelled mower. You do not want a mower that uh, is battery operated. Uh, uh, that's another whole story about creating a remote control lawn mower using a battery operated mower. I won't go into detail with that. I'm still using the gas powered ones. So you would take the M41 mowers, you would affix one to each side. There's a left, a left uh, motor and then there's a right motor. Okay, that's the way they sell them. Uh, you can buy them on eBay secondhand refurbished uh, with the Pronto um, uh, 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 tires. I would buy the Pronto tires separately. I wouldn't buy those together. And um, you would uh, uh, affix those with the steel brackets. Okay, and uh, on each side, one bracket, two brackets, three brackets for each mo motor. Then you would put the tires on there. Okay, and you do the same thing on the other side. Okay, you slip in the M41 mower and attach it with these brackets. All right, so, so that's how that works as far as the outside is concerned. Let's talk about the inside. This housing comes from Walmart. Okay, it is a fishing tackle housing. And it's not even that, I don't even know what it's called. It's just called a camping box or something like that. You'll see these, it doesn't have to be clear. Orange was the only color I could get because of the pandemic. So you're looking at an orange one. And I bought these toggle switch, these two pole toggle switch, because you're gonna run the red wire from the battery on this side, okay, through the unit, to a fuse, preferably a 30 amp fuse. You can buy these 30 amp fuse holders uh, from um, from uh, Amazon or uh, whoever online, okay? And then it's gonna run uh, from the battery out here. It's gonna come in, go to the fuse, over to the switch, out the other side, and to your motor control board, which controls forward, back, left, and right. We'll get to that in a second. Okay, and then the output of the, I'm sorry, the input for the negative just goes directly from the motor control board here. Sorry, get this side. From the motor control board out, comes out of the housing and goes to the negative battery post on this side of the battery. Once these are affixed inside, I'm not putting them inside because this is a customer's unit. I do not want to mess it up. Okay, so, so that's it. And then you run a plus and a minus wire here. Okay, you can run four millimeter wire, five millimeter wire. When you get to six millimeter wire, that's as far as I would go. As far as the wiring inside the housing, if you want to use four, five, or six millimeter, okay, you can. I think this is, this skinny stuff I think is uh, three millimeter or four millimeter. You're not going to run that hot where you're going to burn anything out. Plus you've got the fuse right here that's going to stop anything in case you have a negative polarity for some reason okay so now you've got a receiver okay which gets hooked up to the motor control board and when you buy the motor control board you can go online at youtube and see the re the i'm sorry the uh the receiver uh hookup for the motor control board and i'll tell you the name of the company who makes those in a minute all right so you have your uh, receiver, which uh, you should buy with the uh, radio. The radio and the receiver, uh, in this case, is a Fly Sky. It's a six channel unit. If they made a two channel unit, I would buy it because that's all you need is the two channels one for forward, back, left, and right. Actually, four channels. I'm sorry, I make, I make a correction there. All right, so you're going to pair the, the remote control hobby transmitter with the remote control receiver. Okay, and then the motor control board, okay, has a wiring schematic on it, and also it's up on YouTube, for how to wire the, uh, the uh, plugs for the receiver into the motor control board down here, all right? And that's, in, that's also in the instructions uh, for the motor control board that you buy on YouTube. This motor control board is Dimension Engineering's 232 it is a motor control that gives you a tank style steering and that's all you need okay and the wiring coming out of here is going into the motor control board and and the black positive and negative are clearly marked 
down here. You can see that. And then when you get to the left and the right uh, terminals, those are for the motors, left motor, right motor. Now, most wheelchair manufacturing uh, motors that you buy for the unit um, will be side, uh, side angled, uh, gear, side geared uh, uh, motors, and you don't want those. You want the inline M41 motors, uh, motors and that's, uh, that's basically what you want to use because they're very simple install and, and take out. Uh, also, the left motor gets wired up here, the right motor gets wired over here. There's two wires coming out of each motor. You want to make sure that when you wire them up, okay, that you wire it up so that when you, uh, they're both going the same way, all right? If you wire this thing up and you got one wheel turning one way and one wheel turning the other way, that's because you got to reverse the uh, wires that are coming out of the motor so that, uh, out of the motor so that uh, they will both turn the same way forward and back when you hit the throttle on the remote control forward and back and then left and right same thing all right but that gets taken care of when you wire the motors correctly okay so you'll get your forward and your back your left and your right and that gives you your four channels for tank style steering um and you're going to use uh the, the, the wheels on the back of the push mower are going to be taken off and they're going to be replaced by the 10 inch wheels. All right. And basically that's it for the uh, wiring of the uh, motor control board. Uh, this is a dimension engineering 232 motor control board. It doesn't come with our bracket. Okay. Uh, we have a customer now who's buying it and he is paying for the receiver the uh, motor control board and the transmitter. So we're throwing those in. We're not gonna ship the batteries because he's gonna have to buy the 12 volt, 12 amp batteries together, okay? From a manufacturer, and they're all on eBay and you wanna get these uh, lead acid batteries. You're gonna have to buy a charger also, okay? Uh, either a 12 volt or a 24 volt charger. I only use a 12 volt charger I have I charge them 12 volts at a time, and I put them back in the unit. You may want to buy, oops, sorry. You may want to buy two, two, uh, four of these. So you have two, two ready to go in your machine, and two in case when you, when you're uh, uh, cutting your lawn, you find that the, uh, the mower, the mower is is not working as well anymore because the batteries need to be charged. And that's basically it. Now the on-off switch, like I said, is a a sand, standard on off switch. You can buy those up there. Two pole. All right. These are 30 amp fuse holders. All right. They come in a circle. You have to cut it. Okay. Cut the wire so that one end will go out this way. One end will come out. Come back into the switch and back out into the motor control board. And that's basically it. Let me give you a good shot of this wiring here. Oh, one last thing. The. Um, the toggle switches on the motor control board, the 232 and the rest of them, you will need to flip these toggle switch for hobby mode. Okay, you'll need to flip the switch for hobby mode. And in addition to that, Dimension Engineering makes their motor control boards so that you do not have to power the receiver separately. Okay, it pulls the power from the 24 volt batteries and there's a down converter which converts it to five volts. So no problem there. And of course, the fuse protects you from everything in case there's a short somewhere. Okay? All right, that's basically it. This is the bracket. When you buy it, you buy it without the motor control board unless you want to pay for it or you want to get it yourself. Okay, so that would be it. And this is what you're going to have. And you just pop this right on the back of your push mower, okay, and start cutting your, your, mower, your lawn from... Uh, a comfortable, nice, quiet distance from the mower where you're not sweating your uh, tuckers off. And that's it. Frank Paris, magician engineer, over and out.